Prepare for pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now I would like to welcome Superintendent Chris Corey to the podium. Hello and welcome to the celebration in honoring the Fairfield Sassoon 2020 high school graduates. I am Chris Corey, Superintendent, and on behalf of the Governing Board, I want to express how proud we are of our graduating seniors. This year's pandemic and virus was aimed at no one in particular and everyone at once. This was especially impactful to our high school seniors. Every senior lost their prom, senior sunrise, senior sunset, senior sports season, and their in-person graduation ceremony. Our seniors and their parents had been dreaming about many of these traditions for a long time. Despite all of these disappointments, the pandemic also brought all graduating seniors together. It sparked creativity, demanded resiliency, and promoted togetherness, even though physically separated. These lessons learned throughout your educational journey will only be enhanced by the lessons learned during this pandemic. We hope in the near future that we can again honor you, only this time in person. Until that time, remember that you represent history in the making. You are the record-setting class of 2020. High school graduations are a highlight for everyone. Our board members and senior staff like to represent by wearing school colors to the individual graduations. This year, I'll have to wear them all at once. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you for your insight and determination. You are premier. And now I would like to introduce the valedictorian, Alexander Angulo Rios. Good afternoon, family, friends, teachers, and graduating students. For everyone who doesn't know me, I'm Alexander Angulo Rios, the valedictorian for the class of 2020. For everyone who does know me, I also have no idea how you got up here. First and foremost, I would like to thank my mom for forcing me to write an actual speech. I think bringing myself to write this was actually harder than becoming a valedictorian. If anything, I just come to show you that it could have been any one of you up here, but it's not. It's me. So before the school finds out they got the wrong guy, here's what I have to say. Today we're going through a truly once in a lifetime experience. No, I'm not talking about the daily pandemic that shut down our school or canceled out our school activities. I'm also not talking about the graduation itself. What truly makes this year's graduation so special is us, the class of 2020. Many of us have been here since the inception of this prison. I mean school. That was obviously a joke. The school is looking like a prison. Prisons actually have laws against cruel and unusual punishment. See, I did learn something from CJ after all. In all seriousness, lots of us have been here since day one. We've seen not only the school progress, but through this tight knit group of people, this family, we've seen each other grow up. Some more than others. I've been here eight years and the only thing that's grown is my hair. We shared the unique experiences of PSA together. We're getting to shun our booth before inspection, swimming the hallways, letting a teacher talk the whole period to skip out on doing work, causing mass disruptions in the cafeteria with the boys. The last one might have been just me, my bad. Don't get me wrong. I think we can all agree that being in the school has had its ups and downs. There are many things we probably wish would have been different, high school memories we missed for whatever reason. But the reality is, it's too late. Let's not get hung up about what we could have had, but appreciate what we were able to experience. The future, now more than ever, is clouded with uncertainty. Although many of us have been blessed with unimaginable opportunities, myself included, this transition from cadet to aspiring adult will be no easy task. As the first generation of students who survived all eight years of this program, however, I think there's no stronger group of people to face these tough times ahead of us. We're probably the least qualified person to give you advice, so I won't. If you want to know the secret to success or happiness, it's up to you to find it. If you do find it, make sure you share it. Or don't, again, I'm not qualified to give advice. At the end of every speech, there's a motivational ending. So here's mine. Live your life. Congratulations and thank you. 
And now I would like to introduce salutatorian Akriti Ratti. Hello friends, family, faculty, distinguished guests, and most importantly, fellow graduates. I'm Akriti Ratti, the salutatorian and president for the class of 2020. I would like to start off by congratulating my class. We did it. You could say that the class of 2020 made history. Our class is the first to have completed the Public Safety Academy's 5th through 12th grade program. This means that we grew as our school did, and it has truly been an honor to have laid the foundation for future classes. We could not have made it here alone, so I'd also like to thank the teachers who have been by our side since day one. All of you were invested in both our education and our well-being. You taught us the importance of perseverance and discipline, and that the mistake doesn't define us, but how we bounce back does. Without your support, we wouldn't be here today. Some might say that our journey is just beginning, but I disagree. Our journey began a long time ago, and today the path that we've been traveling will split into different roads. This moment is bittersweet, but I'm proud of how much we've grown since PSA first opened its doors. I walked on campus in 2012, wide-eyed and afraid of what was to come, and I'm sure that many of you felt the same way. But as time passed, we grew to be a family, and I wouldn't trade this experience for the world. For many of us, PSA has become a comfort zone. So as you step out of it and into the real world, it's important that you don't let fear and doubt get in your way. Nothing is easy, but with hard work and determination, we can accomplish anything. Remember to believe in yourself because you have the freedom to define who you are. I know that each and every one of us has a bright future ahead. Whether that is two-year or four-year college, trade school, the military, or a job, we are all one step closer to our goals. So wherever life takes you, go with an open mind and a full heart. This may not be the ending that we had all hoped for, but I want you to take a moment to reflect on the time you spent at PSA and how it made you the person that you are today. I want you to know that you can take your time, that you don't have to have all the answers to life's questions right now. Most importantly, I want you to be proud of yourself because class of 2020, we made it. And now I would like to introduce salutatorian Navi Sahoda. Good afternoon, parents, teachers, friends, and my fellow graduating students. These last six years have been nothing short of extraordinary. I remember walking into PSA as a seventh grader, completely unaware of all the memories, relationships, and opportunities that were to come. From laughing till our stomachs hurt every lunch freshman year, to cheering for our powder puff team till we lost our voices, our grade truly shares an inexplicable bond. We've had the wonderful opportunity to watch each other grow into amazing young adults, and I'm beyond proud of every single one of us for demonstrating such strength and dedication during these trying times. We may not have received the senior year that we all dreamed of, but nonetheless, we've made it to the last lap and we're crossing the finish line together. The experience that PSA provided us is truly one of a kind. Not many seniors can say that they know how to perform a traffic stop or a search and rescue. However, above all else, PSA has given us a family and a sense of belonging. The bond that we formed with each other is something that will carry with us forever. We're ready to embark on our journeys into the real world. Regardless of what pathway we choose, every single one of us has something special to offer the world. PSA has helped form us into determined and capable young adults who are ready to take challenges head on. I'd like to take a moment to thank our teachers, administrators, and other staff for molding us into the people that we are today. Over the years, the most important lessons that our teachers have taught us have not been the educational ones, but rather the ones that taught us about leadership, citizenship, and character. Every staff member has contributed to our journeys in various ways. I'd also like to thank our friends and family who've supported us unconditionally throughout this journey. Without each and every one of you, our puzzle of high school would be incomplete. To my fellow graduating students, thank you for being so compassionate, ambitious, and hardworking. You've made these last six years irreplaceable. After years of boot camps, formations, 11.59 p.m. submissions, skipping lunches to go study, and stressing over tests, all of our hard work is coming to fruition. We finally did it. I wish you all nothing but the best going forward, and I am honored to have had the opportunity to share this moment with all of you. Class of 2020, here's to us. Good afternoon, graduates, parents, family, friends, staff, and community members. My name is Lori Halcom, and I have the privilege of serving as the principal of Public Safety Academy. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the commencement ceremony of the class of 2020. 
Today is an important milestone for these graduates. Although the year did not end exactly as they had planned, the cadets have demonstrated their resilience, strength of character, determination, and the special bond they have developed throughout the years. This graduation is especially momentous because the class of 2020 was the first group of fifth graders when Public Safety Academy opened in 2012. I would like to take a moment to recognize the 25 cadets who have been on this journey together for all eight years. Alexander Angulo Rios, Karina Arias, Diana Avalos, Cynthia Camarillo, Jacob Cruz, Alec DaCosta, John Hayden, Quinlan Howes, Immaculate Asai, Holly Kaiser, Laura Monzo, Brooklyn Mayo, Eileen Michelle, Faiza Mohammed, Aliyah Moreno Cortez, Heika Mrema, Taylor Nelson, Vincent Nguyen, Haley Para, Akriti Ratti, Marcelina Rose, Blanca Ruiz Rodriguez, Emily Shepard, Jesse Sullivan, and Madison Woodring. The class of 2020 has helped shape the Public Safety Academy program into what it is today. They've never been shy about expressing their opinions and I've always appreciated and valued their feedback. They've helped refine the program and establish traditions that will carry on through many years. They have served as trailblazers, leaders, and mentors, and are leaving a legacy that will lead and inspire our younger cadets for years to come. Their hard work and determination have led to many academic successes for which they are to be commended. Throughout their four years of high school, more than a third of the graduates have maintained a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher. 16% of them have maintained a GPA of 3.8 to 3.99, earning the designation of high honors, and 12% of the class has maintained a cumulative GPA of 4.0 or above for all four years, earning highest honors. Cadets, it is difficult to find words to describe how much you have impacted me. I am impressed by the confidence with which you carry yourselves. I admire your commitment to the program and to personal excellence, and I applaud your willingness to give back to the community through countless hours of volunteer work. In addition to building a strong academic foundation, you have discovered and defined who you are as individuals. Through collaboration, you have learned to value and respect the opinions of others, even if you don't agree. You have learned that your actions can affect others and that there is power in admitting when you're wrong and working to make it right. You have identified your own values and priorities and become who you are today. This year in particular, you have learned that although things may not turn out as you had anticipated, and it may not always be easy, you have the power to face your challenges and to persevere. As you leave PSA, you will take your memories of the strong bonds you've built throughout the years. You have established friendships that will last a lifetime, and you have truly become a family. I have watched you pull together to provide love and support for those in great need, to be the strength and encouragement for those who face challenges, and to cheer and celebrate individual and collective successes. You have had great impact on each other, and now you will impact the world. As you move on to your next adventure, I hope you will cherish the many memories of PSA and carry with you a sense of pride for your contributions in building this great program. It has been a privilege to be part of your journey and I'm honored to present you as the graduating class of 2020. And now reading the names of our graduates are instructors Robert Bonifacio and Lisa DeVoe. Alexander Amador. Alexander Jared Angulo Rios. Karina Esmeralda Arias. Maria Del Carmine Arias. 
Diana Elizabeth Avalos. Karndeep Singh Balhotra. Eduardo Vicente Baez Garcia. Carlo Joseph V. Bernardo. George Robert Bostock. Isaiah Lamont Broussard McCullough. Cynthia Camarillo. James Patrick Cook. Jacob Rumela Cruz. Alec Thomas DeCosta. Bailey Joel Eichenberger. Ziomar Gonzalez. John Michael Hayden. Aola Hernandez. Quinlan Thomas House. Immaculate Umbong Asai. Holly Renee Kaiser. Sanspar Mahotra. Laura Manzo. Brooklyn Ashley Mayo. Audrey Catherine McConnell. Vanessa Janae Mendoza Ramirez. Eileen Giselle Michelle. Jose Luis Miranda. Julia Marie Modina. Faiza Aliyah Muhammad. Aliyah Susanna Moreno Cortez. Heike Rose Morema. Taylor Kamaria Nelson. Vincent Ty Wynn. Jocelyn Pantoja. Haley Elena Ara. Catherine Marie Patterson. Akriti Ratti. Marcelina Luz Rose. Blanca Lizette Ruiz Rodriguez. Javier Seth Saavedra. Nagni Har Sahoda. Mark Allen Schmidl. Emily Lynn Shepard. Cherish Gabrielle Stein. Jesse Ryan Sullivan. Brittany Sugeli Urbina Hermio. Anna Gabriella Vera. Bernice Vera Vega. Madison Cherry Woodring. Mohammed Karam El Seed Yusuf. Superintendent Corey, President Honeychurch, Governing Board, Distinguished Faculty and Staff, Family and Friends. I certify that all of these students have met the graduation requirements of the State of California 
and the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. Congratulations, class of 2020. You are now graduates of Public Safety Academy.